I find this Dylan White and Garnu beef, if you want to call it that, rivalry, quite intriguing because Dylan White seems very, very keen on this fight, either in the octagon or in a boxing ring. He said here, if Nganu wants to fight tomorrow, I'll fight him tomorrow. I want to make it fair. I know some other boxers want to fight an MMA guy. I believe I can beat him in both styles. I can beat him in MMA and in boxing. I don't think he's anything special, whichever they want. The guy is scared. So if doing MMA makes him feel better, if we have a fight in the cage first, he might take it. But if we offer him a boxing fight, then he might say, no, no, no. If he wants it, he can get it. I've already beaten him outside the ring when we recorded a head-to-head last year. He's very fragile. He calls himself the predator, but he should be called the pacifier because he's a real dummy and a crybaby. Afterwards, he ran to his boss, Dana White, pleading to get it pulled. He was terrified of actually fighting me after he had a meltdown on air. Pathetic. Hmm. Is there any footage of this confrontation, this head-to-head between Dylan White and Nganu? I'd personally like to see it. (laughs) As I say, I find it very intriguing. Again, Dylan White does have a martial arts background. He was a kickboxer. He did have at least one MMA fight in the octagon. So this is not somebody that is completely unfamiliar with mixed martial arts. And he surrounds himself with mixed martial arts people. Dean, okay, who is his quote unquote brother, comes from a mixed martial arts background as well. And in fact, I think that's how the two became friends in the first place. I'm assuming here, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but they actually met through kickboxing or mixed martial arts or what have you. So yeah, Dylan White has some experience. So yeah, I'd like to see it. We haven't seen a top level boxer go into MMA when they're still at the peak of their powers, when they're still at the top of their game. We've seen washed up guys like James Tony and Ray Mercer these kind of individuals go into MMA when they're long past their boxing prime. But Dylan White is close to his boxing prime. Is he at his prime? Is he slightly past it? Is it? Has it yet to come? Whatever the case may be, he's close to it. And therefore, I'd be fascinated to see him go into the octagon. He's very confident, as we know, and fight Francis Ngannou. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and particularly if you've got a link or if you've got any more information about this head-to-head that they had, this confrontation, and what happened. Why was it, I mean, did they end up scrapping? Why is Dylan White saying this? Is it just hype talk? Or did Francis Ngannou legitimately back down or say whatever to Dana White? Give me more information about this, people.